Hi, I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats at the Canadian International Television Festival at the Tiff Bell Lightbox in downtown Toronto. Brogren, what are you most looking forward to for the festival? Um, well, I just I just spoke, and uh, I actually wish uh, we'd had another hour because it was really an amazing dialogue that was starting up there with uh, was a, a lot, you know some people are really interested in 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 film and television and, and, and especially in like in the youth category, but a lot of people there that are are uh, sort of just want to let us know that they they sort of got through their first stages of their lives. And moms talking about how they watched it with their kids, and it was like one of those things where they're like, "Well, I grew up on Degrassi, and I was watching this with my my daughter, who's here with me right now, and we we saw, we had a dialogue that we never would have had, which is pretty cool." And when you were cast in the original Degrassi yeah. as Snake, did you ever expect it to have such a long run? No, no. It was I, I think we it was a summer job when I was 13 years old, and I I think by the second season we're like, "What's going on?" and uh, I think they were very smart about wrapping it up in five years. Back then, you know, we uh, went out. I think we're the highest rated television show. I mean, this is before the big cable universe existed. So I think we had like 19 million people watch or something, some ridiculous number. And, it, you know, it's, it's impossible to get those numbers almost in Canada now. It is impossible. But it is, but it is one of those things that... Uh, 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 a show like this, you all, we're, we always wonder if, like, is there any more story to tell? And there's always a new generation of kids showing up. We're on our third generation of the next generation. It's so crazy. And, you know, we have cast members who were two years old when this new one started, who are now 13 and 14 years old and grew up with it. And the stories are always, the, the stories are always evolving about what, what's going on with kids in kids' lives. It changes. I was just saying, like, the internet changes, but it's still the same. It's just the rules of life sort of change constantly, and the drugs change, and violence and sex changes, you know? And so that's a, that's a thing where it's like, well, you know, as long as uh, there's, there's a hunger for growing up, which I guess we all have to do, then the, the show has a place, I think. And what's the importance of celebrating Canadian television to you? I think that uh, we're, in a, we're in a stage right now where some of the strongest talent in the world is coming out of here, whether it be writers, producers, actors, directors. There's, uh, it's not a secret anymore. There, before, I think there was a little bit of like, we're the little Canadian cousins, and, and, and now it's one of these things where there is a constant demand for real good talent. It doesn't matter where the hell you're from. And right now we've got so much going on here and it's really exciting watching younger people, like younger directors and writers and actors and discovering that they are, uh, can play on the world stage and not be afraid and, and feel that they have to put themselves in a hole and everything has to be, you know, I, I, should I, I have to make it something, should I make it local? Well, then there's nothing wrong with making a corner gas and that actually translates all around the world in a lot of ways. But it's also great to go, I'm gonna try whatever that next step in situation comedy should be and not be afraid like I think spun out is a new show that I have a couple friends that are involved with and and it's like you know that's that, that could be considered a traditional sitcom but I think they're trying to do something very different by going that traditional sitcom route so it's 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 cool to see that there's people here that are willing to sort of push boundaries yeah. right. well thank you so much congratulations enjoy the festival thank you very much thank you I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie chats at the Tiff Bell Lightbox in downtown Toronto